What goes on on a typical summer afternoon in Maystone? Well, come with me and let's check it out. I've been busking for about a year now. The show comes on and the sunglasses. Remember, we've only got five minutes of summer. You have to use it wisely. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Let's talk about these cold sores. To me, cold sore is stress trying to leave the body. Um, I was ill and whilst I was in quarantine, there was a lot going on in work as well. So I couldn't get the chance to just lie down and pity myself and get myself sorted. So I was still working from home, like proper work and trying to make things happen. So after that, I got really tired and then I ended up developing these cosos so sorry if i put you off on a hot summer afternoon in maystone you are sure to see a lot of people they come out mostly for the shopping experience i think or in the case of the new teenage generation, just to hang around town with their mates. For some reason, tanning shops get busier when the sun is out. Why is that? To be fair, I considered topping up my tan myself, but then, you get what I mean. One other thing that you will notice on a typical sunny day in Maystone is the number of baskets that comes out to perform. And most of these performers are really talented and good at what they do. Have a listen to this. What's your name? Josie, Josie, Josie Tree, Tree. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so what sort of songs do you normally sing? I sing a little bit of everything, like Whitney Houston, oh, Beyonce, nice. Ariana Grande, you know, all those sort of people. And then Mimi Webb, um, oh, okay. I love her. So I do a little bit of everything, yeah. and Amy Winehouse, I love Amy oh, Winehouse. Right. So are you um, still in school? Um, I'm homeschooled at the minute. Oh, homeschooled. Um, right. I'm actually going to the Brit School. Okay. Do you know the Brit School? No, it's I've a, never heard it's like of it. performing arts school. Adele went there oh, and like, nice. Amy Winehouse. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to be going there, which is really fun. That's nice. But, um, yeah, no, I love it. I've been doing it for a long time now. And, yeah. yeah. What is the future for you? What, what do you seek to achieve? I'm hoping to be like a, a songwriter. A songwriter, yeah, okay. Yeah, but I definitely want to sing. It's my passion. It's always been. I love animals as well. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, I definitely want to pursue it. Alright, yeah. cool. In a conducive weather condition like this, not only baskets come out to perform, people of faith also come out to proclaim their faith. What is it about? Okay, so we're a team of people from uh, Maidstone churches. So pretty much all of us are from different churches, but we team up because we think that there's some good news to tell Maidstone. All right. Um, we tell him about, tell people about Jesus, we tell people about peace and goodness and what God's like, and invite people to think about getting to know Him. All right. Okay. So were you born into Christianity? My parents are Christians. Yeah. But I don't think you can really be born into Christianity. I really think you've got to make your own choice, haven't you? I mean, actually, we're all human, aren't we? So we've got to decide, is God true? Is Jesus true? Um, okay. You know, I think, yeah. So I grew up in a Christian family, yeah, but definitely made that decision for myself, but, you know, as I got older. Yeah. So was it a time that you sort of put it to the test? Like, when I say wow. put it to the test, was it a time that you said, okay, my parents are Christians? 
it doesn't mean that I should be a Christian. Yeah. So did you, was there a point where you tested it and you proved that this is the good way to go? Oh my goodness, so many times. I think with faith, you're putting it to test all the time. Do you know what I mean? If I trust God, I've got to trust God for every day, whatever happens in my life. So when there's been difficult things that happen in my life, I've got that choice. Do I trust God? Do I not trust Him? And I think with... Uh, You've got also always got options about what you're going to run hard after, haven't you? So I was talking to um, I was talking to someone earlier. You know, Jesus said, "Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness. Everything else will be given to you." So you can like try really hard, go for a career, go for you know, I'm going to have a great marriage, I'm going to get have wonderful kids, you know, whatever your aim is in life. But actually, none of us can do all that stuff on our own. We need God. Or you can go, I'm going full on after God, and God helps you with all the other stuff. So if, well. if I tell you to sum up your faith in one word, what will it be? Trust. Trust. Right, yeah, trust. For me, trust. For him, love. Love. Right. You know, I've been through, everyone's been through rubbish. I've been through some rubbish. Yeah. And but trusting him. And sometimes my trust has been, you know, Jesus talked about faith as small as a mustard seed to move a mountain. Sometimes my faith has been as small as a mustard seed. In fact, I've believed, oh my goodness, you know, I'm terrible, I'm going to hell, you know, I've yeah, struggled sometimes, you know, you're going, it's right, what's true. But that faith, that trust, continue to come back to that. And sometimes I'm hanging on to other people's trust. You know, as a church, a part of a community as well, people are rooting for you when things are done. Okay, thank you very much for talking to me. Bars and restaurants are also open at these times and I took the opportunity to take a bite while enjoying the view. Who comes to Maystone Town Centre on a wonderful sunny day like this without taking a walk along the banks of the Medway River? I did and ended up having a chat about music with these wonderful people. I was into Lucky Dube a lot. And Lucky Dube? Yeah, Lucky Dube. Yeah, but he's but he, he sing reggae. That is it. I know a lot of people don't think it's a strong <laughs> reggae. Lucky Dube. I know a tall guy, tall guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's, he's dead now. He's dead now? Yeah. Yeah. I remember I see him on some documents. I chronic. No, so Lucky Dube and um, Afa Blondie was also famous in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. And Culture. Culture was culture. also big, yeah. You know his full name? I should know because someone mentioned it on the radio last week. <laughs> He, he, he's one of my um, favorite guy, big yeah, guy. Yeah. Joseph Hill. Oh, okay. Culture Joseph Hill. All right. Guy and hot and lax, yeah. Mm. I don't know if he's still around, but. No, no, no. Culture is no more. No, he died. Yeah, culture died. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Lucky Dube, UB42. I used to like UB40. Yeah. But would you say it's, that is reggae? Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, they're just. A bit of it. Still, yeah. it's still sound good. They do it good. We had the head guy. Red, red wine. Yeah. Rat, rat in the kitchen is the one that I used to like. <laughs> you don't want no rat in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. But it's weird that Lucky Dube was never famous in, in England. I've never heard of no, no, yeah. no. I, I read about him. He's a yeah. tall guy. Yeah. 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 He, he was big in Africa, South yeah. African, yeah. Okay, okay. So if you don't find it here, you'll find it somewhere else. It does it, yeah. Yeah. He was never famous here. No, no, no. He wasn't. Does he go to Africa? They love him. Yeah, I think Bob Marley was famous here because um, yes. most of. His music was um, was recorded in London. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because they wanted to sort of keep him in Jamaica, so yeah. he came and hide hid in in London. So the whole Exodus was recorded in in London. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. But he was big. He was. He, he, he's the biggest <laughs> reggae. Yeah. It's still alive. You know? Yeah. It's a record. 
Yeah. He probably in exile, you know. He Maybe. The whole way. Yeah. He living a life out of the the um, paparazzi from the paparazzi. That's, uh, he could be still living still. You never know. He was yeah. when he buried, where they say he's buried uh, near where I come from in Jamaica, St. Anne. All right. Up in the hills. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I went to see his tomb and that. Yeah. Do you go to Jamaica much? I've been for a little while. Okay. I, I, I want to go next year. So I take it you were born in London? No, or, no. Jamaican born. Oh, Jamaican. Oh, all right. Long, long time ago. Uh, yeah. Any plans to go back? Probably not to Jamaica, but I, spend, I want plans to spend more, probably Gambia with my sister. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gambia, not bad. Not bad yeah, at all. Horrible. And it's close to Ghana, so oh, anytime you can... Oh, yeah, we're going to go. These are has a house in Jamaica. We go there. All right. Overlooking the sea. So okay. Yeah, so I get the nice sea breeze. Yeah. You don't need no fan. That's it, yeah. All that, all that sea breeze. I just opened the window. Wow. Yeah. Natural breeze from the sea. Love it, man. It's on the hill. Pull it up. Have you made, have you made a lot of friends with the African people here? They don't talk. They don't. They just um, they I think people. not from outside. I think outside I've only got one Nigerian guy, but he owns a shop, so. He's the only person, but in the camp we have an African Caribbean community. I find when you see them on the street, like if you're in London now, everybody's different. Right? Yeah. Everybody's... Everyone is to themselves. Yeah. 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 It's always good when the sun is out in UK. Everyone looks good and cheerful. I hope this video painted a picture of how Maystone Town Centre looked like on a sunny summer day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.